warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Apa kabar teman-teman semuanya Semoga sehat-sehat aja ya semuanya ya Oke okay, teman-teman Hari ini kita akan coba bahas tentang X Tentang X Kenapa X? Banyak di kehidupan kita Sering menyebutkan tentang faktor X Atau X factor gitu ya Bisa kita menyebutkan X itu Sebagai sesuatu yang belum diketahui kejelasannya Ada misalkan di dalam matematika Kita sebut X itu sebagai variabel Padahal kan kalau variabel itu Ada 26 kemungkinan Ada dari A sampai Z Tapi kenapa X ini Lebih sering mewakili variabel Sebagai sesuatu yang belum jelas nilainya Sebagai sesuatu yang belum uh, jelas Sesuatunya gitu ya. Nah Ternyata teman-teman semuanya, kenapa X ini menjadi spesial di dalam, menjadi sebuah variabel di dalam matematika? Nah, hal ini ternyata teman-teman diungkap oleh seorang namanya Terry Moore di dalam sebuah seminar namanya TEDx tentang kenapa X ini menjadi sesuatu yang mewakili hal yang belum diketahui kejelasannya. Nah, di dalam seminar tersebut beliau menyampaikan beberapa argumen yang sangat luar biasa. Gimana? mau tahu nggak argumennya apa? Oke, kita lihat penjelasan beliau, kita tonton penjelasan beliau berikut ini. I have the answer to a question that we've all asked. The question is, why is it that the letter X represents the unknown? Now, I I know we learned that in math class, but now it's everywhere in the culture. The X prize, the X files, Project X, TEDx. Where'd that come from? About six years ago, I decided that I would learn Arabic, which turns out to be a supremely logical language. To write a word or a phrase or a sentence in Arabic is like crafting an equation because every part is extremely precise and carries a lot of information. That's one of the reasons so much of what we've come to think of as Western science and mathematics and engineering was really worked out in the first few centuries of the Common Era by the Persians and the Arabs and the Turks. Uh, this includes the little system in Arabic called Aljabra, and Aljabra roughly translates to the system for reconciling disparate parts. Aljabra finally came into English as Algebra, one example among many. The Arabic texts containing this mathematical wisdom finally made their way to Europe, which is to say Spain, in the 11th and 12th century. And when they arrived, there was tremendous interest in translating this wisdom into a European language. But there were problems. One problem is there, there are some sounds in Arabic that just don't make it through a European voice box without lots of practice. Trust me on that one. Also, those very sounds tend not to be represented by the characters that are available in European languages. Here's one of the culprits. This is the letter sheen, and it makes the sound we think of as sh, sh. It's also the very first letter of the word sheon, which means something, just like the English word something, some undefined, unknown thing. Now in Arabic, we can make this definite by adding the definite article al. So this is al sheon, the unknown thing. And this is a word that appears throughout early mathematics such as this 10th century derivation of proofs. The problem for the medieval Spanish scholars who were tasked with translating this material is that the letter sheen and the word sheon can't be rendered into Spanish because Spanish doesn't have that sh, that sh sound. So by convention, they created a rule in which they borrowed the ck sound, the k sound, from the classical Greek in the form of the letter chi. Later, when this material was translated into a common European language, which is to say Latin, they simply replaced the Greek chi with the Latin X. And once that happened, once this material was in Latin, it formed the basis for mathematics textbooks for almost 600 years. But now we have the answer to our question. Why is it that X is the unknown? X is the unknown because 
you can't say shh in Spanish. <laughs> and I thought that was worth sharing. <laughs> nah, jadi itu alasan kenapa X menjadi huruf yang mewakili sebuah hal yang belum diketahui nilainya, di, belum diketahui kejelasannya. Termasuk di dalam matematika mewakili variabel. Padahal kan variabel bisa A, B, C, D, sampai Z kan? Tapi itulah alasan kenapa X sering dipakai untuk mewakili sebuah variabel. Nah, semoga ini menambah ilmu teman-teman ya dan bisa bermanfaat ke depannya. Tunggu video-video ngaji matematika selanjutnya. Jangan lupa subscribe dan aktifkan tanda loncengnya supaya teman-teman bisa update video-video terbaru dari ngaji matematika. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.